Good. All right. Police officers of the law. That's right, folks. That's right. We're talking about cops today. Eight unvaccinated New York Police Department officers are currently in the hospital with COVID-19. Look at this dog. He's so precious. Police Commissioner Dermot Shea said in a video message to the department Friday, urging them to get vaccinated. I love this like image here, by the way. Eight, un like it's just like a picture of their little patch or whatever. Eight unvaccinated New York Police Department uh, officers hospitalized with COVID-19. Officers down, folks. Let's read the article. New York City, Wabk. Eight unvaccinated NYPD officers are currently in the hospital with COVID-19, including a 23-year-old who is fighting for his life. Yikes. Probably should have gotten vaccinated. Police Commissioner Dermot Shea said in a somber video message to the department Friday urging them to get vaccinated. Why do I keep coming back to you on this? Because I'm talking to family members. I'm talking to you and you. I don't really give a shit what they're saying. Shea revealed Thursday that just 62% of police officers are vaccinated, one of the lowest among city agencies. We've had 28,000 people in the NYPD vaccinated. Of those people, this is definitive, of those 28,000 people vaccinated, we have about 20, 225 that got positive COVID tests after the fact. Think about how small that number is. Of those 225 people that get a positive COVID test after getting the vaccines, not one of them went to the hospital. That's how strong these vaccines are. And this is the chief of police basically saying, can you please stop killing yourselves? Can you please stop killing yourselves? Please stop killing yourselves. I'm saying I'm a non-interventionist. I'm anti-war. Right? Right. I, my thing is, again, non-interventionist. That's what they call me. I'm a not. If someone is going out there refusing a vaccine that's free and readily available, and then they end up dying because, hey, non-interventionist. I'm just saying when it comes to police, I... Following the law, I am looking respectfully. That's all I can say. Uh, to the NYPD members, you've got to, in this day and age, everyone has to be safe, and you've got to set the right example. They're not going to do that because they're dumb, folks. Cops are fucking dumb. Let's go to Massachusetts. Boston, Massachusetts. We are disappointed in the judge's ruling. However, we respect their decision. It is unfortunate that the governor and his team have chosen to mandate one of the most stringent vaccine mandates in the country with no reasonable alternatives. That's right. In Massachusetts, they are mad because they have to get the vaccine. In New York, everyone who's leading New York, they're a bunch of pussy little bitches. They're afraid to actually enforce the law and law enforcement. But... In Massachusetts, it seems not to be the case. Throughout COVID, we have been on the front lines protecting this. Of course, they've been protecting the citizens of Massachusetts and beyond. Simply put, all we are asking for are the same basic accommodations that countless other departments have provided to their first responders and to treat a COVID-related illness as a line of duty injury. It is not a line of duty injury. You are a dumb motherfucker. You cannot, whoops, you cannot, possibly say that you are protecting people while you're spreading a deadly virus uh in those communities you just can't do it like i wonder if you could possibly track this right how many people getting covid is a result of interactions with police like i wonder if police you know just harassing the shit out of minority communities has anything to do with them have, having higher rates of covid transmission i'm just wondering i'm just throwing that out there to date, dozens of troopers have already submitted their resignation paperwork. Good. Get a fucking another job. Mow my lawn, motherfucker. Many of these troopers are going to be returning to their previous municipal police departments within the state that allows for regular testing and masks. The state police are already critically short-staffed and acknowledge this by the unprecedented moves, blah, 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 blah. Who gives a shit? Take the fucking vaccine. You are a dumbass. So that's what's happening Cops versus COVID, folks. It's not uh, It's not a good matchup. I think COVID's going to win this one. Um, but again, this is one of those things where both sides really suck. You know, like this is like when, uh, you know, like Nancy Pelosi and like, you know, tore up the paper or whatever and Donald Trump's speech and they're all yelling at each other on Twitter for days. Both sides suck and you just get to be in the middle laughing. at You know, like that picture, 
that meme image of like the people at the p outdoor party like fighting each other and then there's that kid in the background with the bong that's us right now we're, we're we're the kid in the background with the bong we're just having a good time watching them fuck each other up cops and covid folks it's incredible and again this is one of those situations where you have 40 percent of cops are domestic abusers that's self-reported um and 80% uh, of cops voted for Trump. That's self-reported. And so it's just a big, giant shit show. Uh, you know, like, these are far-right, mostly uh, extremists, far-right extremists. And they don't believe in science. So, yikes. It's almost like that has consequences.